Hey Latin learners, we have big plans for the rest of our market area, so to make this appealing to more villagers, we thought we'd start with an outlook and a beautiful fish pond. Alright, enough chit chat. Let's learn some vocab. Hinley Vocabulary Lesson 22. Our first word is wita, which is easy to remember if you think of vital or your vital organs. Wita means life. Next we have walum, which will be really easy for you to remember if you can just remember to pronounce the V like a W. Walum means wall or rampart. Then we have amiktia, which is pretty easy to remember because it looks a lot like amicus, which means friend. Amiktia means friendship. Then we have fossa, which reminds me of the word fossil, which maybe you'd find that in a ditch. I don't know. You're just going to have to find out for yourself. Fossa, fossae means ditch. And then we have clariter, which honestly, I'm not sure why this word helps me remember this. But I think of the word celery, which maybe that's just because it's spelled pretty similarly. But there's nothing swift about celery at all. <laughs> it's not swift to eat, or maybe it grows swiftly, I don't know. But clariter means swiftly. Then we have expecto, which almost means what you would expect. <laughs> it means wait for or wait. Would've been nice if it just meant expect. It means pretty much the same thing. Then we have Nolus Aum. If you're interested at all in stars or astronomy or that sort of thing, a nova is an astronomical event that essentially makes such a bright flash that it feels like there's a new star in the sky because of how bright the flash is and for how long it lasts for weeks, if not months. So, new. Noah's Aum. And then we have Diu, which is a short word, but because of the two vowels sitting right next to each other, feels to me like it takes a long time to say. A little awkward. So maybe that'll help you remember that Diu means a long time, or just long. Then we have acriter, which means bitterly or eagerly. The way I remember this word is just by pronouncing this word in the most wrong way possible. A critter, something like that, in a very southern accent. Then I imagine some raccoon digging through my trash bitterly or eagerly. <laughs> then we have expugno. Which is kind of a cool word, honestly. Feels like it rolls off the tongue. I don't know about you. Also comes from the word pugno, which means fight. Expugno means storm or take by storm, which is pretty much the same thing. It's, storm, it's not the type of storm that means clouds and lightning in the sky, but it means similar to fight, some sort of a fierce and sudden fight, I guess. It's the type of storm that means to attack, and in the sense that, like, we're gonna take the storm, the castle by storm, that type of storm. Ah, uh, this is turning out real nice. I might just chill here a sec with the fish. All right, let's see if we can go over these words and see if you can remember them. Wita, witai, means life. We have walum, which means wall or rampart. Amikitia, which means friendship. Fossa, which means ditch. Hilariter 
<laughs> maybe the word celery is helping you now. Let me know in the comments if it does, because that would be hilarious. In swiftly. Expecto. Which means wait for, or just wait. Novus. Which means new. Diu. Which means a long time or long. Acriter. Which means bitterly or eagerly. Expugno. Which means storm or take by storm. Wonderful work, friends. This pond is just the start of a magical area that I'm sure the villagers will love. Today's lesson was short, but stay strong. You've got a lot of vocab to go. But that also means we have a lot of time to make this place really amazing. I can't wait. See you next time.